Hello everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, That's and nice we're going to be starting Fable 2, not Fable 1 Why as planned. Unfold. Why, you might ask? Very simple. Fraps is not my friend. So we'll be continuing with the uh, capture games on the X-Chicken, I mean the Xbox. We'll start with the second in the series, then go to the third, and then try Fable 1 again. So if you're looking forward to Fable 1, I'm sorry, but it will have to wait. Oh, I love this opening. It's so nice. So good. So what's that bird doing there? Actually, this is a reference to your main character, whose name starts off as Sparrow. Much like the previous game, your character will be known by their nickname, not their actual name. Go figure. So, yeah. Sorry I couldn't get table one out to you guys at first, but... Hey, at least this is a modern game, right? We get to see the best game in the series in all actuality. Because this had most of the polish that Table 3 had on it. Not all, but most. And it had the same atmosphere as Table 1. Verduki. Why would the cameraman go under that? Thunk. <laughs> oh, yuck. Well, I hear that's lucky. Like finding a four leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Luthien's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. Now, as you can see, I chose the male character first. Come with me, little brother. If you want, later on I'll do a female character run. But this is mostly setting up Fable 3. Hello oh, there, young Rose. You look hungry. And yes, I will listen to my offer? everyone's advice exactly. on what character you want me to play in You'll Fable be back, 3. And I'll be waiting I'm not for asking you. what character, good or bad, you want me to play. I'm asking, do you want me to play a male or a female character? Uh, ladies and a gentlemen, I have traveled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works when you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. Ow! You're standing on my... We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon, but you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... 
You really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. Five gold coins? We can eat for a week. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Now, unfortunately, during your childhood years, Rose talks a lot. Oi! Kids, come here a minute. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants flew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. One gold for all five warrants. Deal. Obviously, this is set sometime in the 1700s. Through the alley, by that bloke with the picture. And yes, I am going to let the full dialogue of each of these choices play out. But for now, let's so find you guys get to hear it. Pull the other one. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This? Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modlify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm. I only have one gold left. But you're right. I should investalize it in my new venture. Deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwaddled by the results. Be what? Ah, oh, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. Um, pretty much pick a pose. It doesn't really matter what pose it is. And there you go. First gold coin. be more popular than that box. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. <laughs> Easy money for us. He's a bit scary. No, he's all right. Three months for a picture is pretty long. But this is pretty much the start of the Industrial Revolution, according to the game. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. Way back in the what clockwork you? era. Oh. oh, you little bastard. Hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm going to hit another one. Okay. Now, unlike Fable 1, you don't have to lock on to someone. You can, but you don't have to. Kind of auto-lock on. Did you see that? That lunatic stopped me right in the head. Thanks for your help. Aw, poor puppy. You're so stupid. Oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. It won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. 
Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Yeah. The funny thing is that dog will actually change color according to how good or bad you are. And change appearance on the breed. Right now it's a mixed lab, but later on it should turn into a golden lab if you're good, and a black lab if you're bad. And hey! Warrant for arson. Wanted for 19 counts of setting fire to public property or an officer of the peace. Is that one of the warrants? Wow. Well, we have our first warrant. These warrants are hilarious, by the way. Leroy Unremarkable Sims Known, aliases Leroy Ten Fingers, Leroy One Nose, Leroy Two Eyes, Leroy Has Hair, Leroy Is Alive. Wanted for suspicious though otherwise unremarkable behavior. Nice. Yes, another and yes, I will be reading that in a pseudo British accent. Or as close to a British accent as I ever come. Sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those hideous vermin never can suffer. Okay, sweet. Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. Get to deal with beetles. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Now, this is the first uh, mission where you have to deal with a moral choice. And here comes your moral, moral choice right to the window. Balthazar owes some protection it's to Nicky the So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. The Nickname's behalf. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with that guy. Realistically, since this is the start of the game, your moral choices really don't have that much of an impact. I mean, you're not going to get gold hair as a little kid. But I prefer to be good. <laughs> do you know what I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this, kid. Don't care. That was a massacre. No mercy for the filthy buggers. That's what I like to see. And all my stock is still intact. Genius. Now I think about it, I wonder how those beetles got in there. Wow, I didn't know you were so good at fighting. Yes, that was your range tutorial oh, fight. Really doing it. And beating up the kid was your melee tutorial fight. That's pretty much what the childhood is all about, is tutorials. Which, they don't follow that in the next one because, hey, you're the kid of the king or queen. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of two. Direct descendant. Oh, you get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight, even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar, has piles of stuff, and it's all stolen from bodified tramps like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. Sweet. So you bring me back my bottle? 
Now, in this instance, it's rather ambiguous which is the actual good moral choice. That must be Magpie. And there's the bottle. There he is. Get it, little sparrow. But don't wake him up. Uh oh. Don't wake him up. Bottle with a note. It's stoppered with a strip of paper. Hmm, okay. Ah, stupid Pete. Let's go collect our gold. All we gotta do is get right back over here. Have ourselves another gold hey, case. Hey, the quadruplets are back. You've got booze. I can smell it. Are you sure it's not your breath? I'll give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Where? Kids, look out for the wagon. Does he sound like he needs that? Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. Um, I prefer to give it to the lady. Give me the one. But this is really an ambiguous no, choice. Don't. Give it to me. Oh, hey. Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I think this is yours. Warrant for burglary. Alan alliteration element. Wanted for breaking and entering, breaking and smashing, breaking and repeatedly stomping upon, breaking, gluing back together, and trying to pass off as not ever having been broken in the first place. I used to be an accountant. Don't drink. You'll <laughs> ruin your life. <laughs> you admit it. Um, I guess I do. Now, this isn't actually From texted thing, dialogue, but I, I love listening to it. And return to my career as a tax and pensions consultant. Oh, you poor man. Sure you don't want the bottle? Well done. He probably saved his life. <laughs> and that's hey, there's another one. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Now, let's find the rest that of should be boys. the last two. Come on. Warrants for Andrew the Stammer Miller. Wanted for assault with a firearm, stealing glances at a firearm, whispering sweet nothings to a firearm, proposal of marriage to a firearm, hurtling firearm into a public waterway in anger, and one count of public intoxication. Beggars. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. Oh, I know. You're sweet. But I told you before, we can't keep you. Come on, little sparrow. And is there anything down here? No, of course not. Just a bunch of coffins. There we are. This one. Warrant for assault. Nikki the nickname Chalmers. Also known as Nikki the nickname Chalmers. No relation. Wanted for assault with a deadly weapon. Assault with a potentially deadly weapon. Assault with a weapon we can't possibly believe could be deadly, but unfortunately was. And this says... Wanted dead or mortally wounded. Nice. Hey. Hey. We should go back to that guard. Wasn't that the guy who was who Arthur works for? Oh, we're gonna be putting him away. Nice. I'm nearly nine years old. <laughs> Your decision at this point actually does affect the game later on. Stop right there, you little brats. Listen, creep. I told you no this morning. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. Um, no, screw you, dude. That guy is nothing but trouble. Even if you're an evil character, he's a you dick. Know if you find the warrants. I prefer Have zipping right past him. 
And there we go. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Yay, good points. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's your gold piece. That's it. That should sort out this town. And this should be our last gold piece. Shh. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. Wow. Gee, I wonder who to side with. What's the matter with you? Oh, little ones. My situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why'd you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like, like... We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. What a bomb! Ronnie's proposal. Darling, run away with me like two doves. We shall rise on love's gentle breeze and soar above the... Oh, good God, this is sappy. Yeah, whatever. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum... Right. Knock on the door and let's see you... Just knock on the door. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. <laughs> well, at least she's nice to strangers. Anyways, right well, since we're going to not side with the and evil bitch, anything. we're going to go over here, talk to Belinda, give her her stuff. She's wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty, my little dove. Sweet. Okay, let's get out of here. I guess some people's wishes do come true. And out the house. We can buy the music box now. Get out of my way. Come on, let's go. Glitchy bitch. I can't wait to see what it can do. Belinda, what are you doing? What? Get back in the house. The heck? I'm leaving, mother. I'm going to marry the man I love. Watch out, Verma. <laughs> She's a bit scary. <laughs> oh, Monty. I love you. Anyways, let's go talk to Murgo. Hello, children. Hello. We've come to buy the music box. Doop doo. You gonna say anything? No. Okay. Very wise, little ones. Sweet music box. Trembles with energy at your touch. Sweet. We've got the MacGuffin for the next game. Let's go make our wish, little Sparrow. Alright. Now, let's go use it. Hello, chicken. Goodbye, chicken. Chicken chickens doesn't give you any morality points one way or the other. It's just funny. Okay, let's wait for Rose to get here and let's use the music box. I wish. I wish. Ooh, Chloe. Whoa. 
Dude, what the hell? But where did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Aww. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? Could get out of my way. I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. All right, cool. Come on, Sparrow. Go to bed. Let's go to bed. <laughs> All right, to settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss. And he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. Okay. It did work. Our wish came true. Sweet. Come on, Sarah, wake up. Totally worth waking up in the middle of the night for. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you. I promise. Now, much like Fable One, I'm gonna pretty much be doing this one mission at a time. Let's go to the castle. And by mission, I mean storyline mission. That way I can pretty much limit how long it's going to take to do stuff. If I can get traps working, that would be awesome. Good evening, James. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young master. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Oh, hey, dude. Ah, hello, Master Garth. Master Garth. Be seeing him later. Ha, huh. a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them too. You know, I just realized, later on in the series, in this eat? particular game, Actually, you collect most of his meals in his the family. three heroes He's in, there in reverse age order. Research. From youngest to uh, oldest. And history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the That's old... That's kind of cool now that I think about it. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe... Lord yeah, you can move freely again. About that. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. <laughs> I love how this guy turns. As lesson as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Nice. So yeah, I guess this is basically the 1700s for this era. Oh, it's for this game my attention type. that you have some sort of magic box. I ask you. Lucian looks kind of cool when he's young. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? 
to live in a castle like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... You know, Lucian seriously screws up at this point. He could have had everything he wanted if he just handled this What's that? slightly different manner. Nothing to worry about. Strength, I think. Or maybe that's Will, I'm not sure. They changed the colors around. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? He mean like in the old stories. <laughs> or it could be indicative of intent. Wait. Huh. No, no, no. Something here. What's that like? Quiet! You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. <sighs> See what I mean? Nothing will stand in my way. This is where he screws up. Don't! No! If he hadn't done this, he could have had everything he wanted. I can't allow you to. Now, I'm going to make it my mission in life to kick his ass. Oof. That sucks. Shoot! Ow! Ooh! That had to hurt. Hey, the finger twitch. Kid's moving. Alright, narration time by Teresa. Bar none, the oldest, second oldest character in the series. If I ever get to record Fable Lost Chapters, you'll see why she's the second oldest. Doopa doop doop doo. Yoopa doo. Yoopa doo. Loading time. Suck! They really suck. He disappeared oh. from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Ah, there you are, and your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, Sweet. you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to... By the way, if you're curious, this um, field map here is actually based on the original field map from Fable 1. Where you had to go through uh, a series of hills and small fields to get to Bowerstone. Anyways... 
We need to go way the hell over here. Who's a cute little sparrow? And pop the chest. Rusty longsword. White splintered crossbow. Placebo health potion. Dog elixir. Collar of holding. Spade. Nice. Get a couple things right off the bat. And I'm not actually going to use this as a uh, sleeping area. I'm going to rent it out for money. Now, because I pre-recorded this a while ago, I'm going to make have made some significant amount of money by the time I continue recording this game. I was actually expecting to be able to pre-record Fable 2 while I was recording Fable 1, and have a lot of stuff done now come with so me. I could just start posting and pre-recording okay. Fable 3. That way I would have a buffer. It seems that life does not like me having a buffer. Anyways, follow Teresa, sister of the hero of Oakvale. Take this. From 500 years ago. Guild Seal! No, actually, it's it a Tomb Seal. Artifact, the kind of which all but it belongs to the Heroes Guild. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now, look down towards... As me. you're about to see, some locations have changed shape, and other locations have changed area. Albion's a lot bigger than it used to be. Much by the way, Bower Lake didn't used to be there. Yeah, that that's an addition that happened in Fable 2. This map area is actually mostly unchanged in Fable 3. There's just a few new paths, but other than that, it's pretty much the same, just with more housing. A rubber ball for the doggy. Sweet. Now we can play with the doggy at will, which is a good thing. Helps increase the doggy's stats. Go out to the lake. Swim out to the little island. And before we go in, let's get our first silver key. Sweet! It is highly recommended that we get all of these. Because there are some badass items you can get with silver keys. Alright. In we go. Now, if I remember correctly, that seal is actually the seal of the Old Kingdom. I'll be revealing little tidbits of information about the Old Kingdom as we go along, because I do know about the lore of it. Alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the Guild Seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. Oh, there's an in-joke in this game that refers to Fable 1. Let you know when it's there. And we will need to return here later, I believe, with a fishing pole? Or we can dive down later and get stuff? I don't quite remember. Oh, hey, look! Giant beetles! Also known as Easy XP. These are meant to be attacked with your sword. But I like to get a little bit of ranged combat in. Just because these are actually way easier to take out with your ranged weapon. Just back off and continue to slay them with your ranged weapon. Now in all actuality, skill is a lot more useful than strength in this game. Pay attention, your dog will find treasure. Silver keys are damn useful. Your dog can actually find 
the best ranged weapon in the game. If you resurrect your dog, which I believe is the um, middle option, I think, at the end of the game. Not sure. You can get replacements for your very basic equipment here. Which I do recommend getting. Um, is there anything in there? No. You'll have to shoot the switch to go. Now if you're wondering, this is actually a slightly modified version of a familiar map if you've ever played Fable One. I see that bubbly there? That means there's something hidden in the water. For some reason we can't quite get to it yet. Anyways, um da da da, da. no no, we can't go that way just yet. We will be able to, just not quite yet. Remember to always search inside areas. You will find neat and useful stuff. Rusty mace. We'll use that rusty mace. Because it's better than our, our basic weapon. This is a basic update, realistically. It gives you slightly better weapons that you can use for your next mission. Okay, let's see. Get out of this area. And move on. Down, down, down. I wonder why... Um, there's so many beetles in this area. But if you recall, the starting area for Bowerstone and the Heroes Guild in Fable 1 was pretty insect infested, so... I guess it does make sense. Now, you get to a certain level in Fable and low-level enemies start disappearing. Go over here. And there's just a skeleton with a piece of parchment over there. It's telling a little story of three explorers who came here to explore the place. But yeah, this is basically the starting area of Fable 1 with some serious map tweaks. Okay, you want to go over here? And over here is where we can go and get to another skeleton with a piece of parchment on it. Do I want to go? Yes. Yes, I do. I want to show this off. Search. Brendan's Diary. It appears to be a page from an explorer's diary, recalling the details of an expedition in this cave. Third day. My hand is shaking from exhaustion, but I shall remain vigilant. I almost nodded off last night, and I have camped around the fire, but still managed to keep an eye on Eric and Drake. <sighs> I have seen the greedy glimmer in their eyes. They mean to make the treasure theirs. Perhaps it's time to use the poison. Sweet. Pack of morons. So let's check out the other one. Eric's letter. The unposted letter was written by a member of an expedition of treasure hunters. Dearest Harriet, a voyage to the entrails of Bower Lake have taken a turn for the worse. I only hope I survive the, to see the daylight again. You are right about Brendan and Drake. They are selfish brutes. Conspiring behind my back, plotting to murder us so that they can keep the treasure to themselves. But fear not, my love, for I plan to poison their water supply while they sleep. Soon we shall be rich, forever yours, Eric. Okay, one guy was going to poison the food, I think. The other guy poisoned the water. 
And I don't remember what the third guy did. I don't think I found his skeleton yet in this playthrough. Now, if you'll notice, up in the upper left, my health score is abysmal. There are civilians in the game that have better health scores than I do. I mean, seriously, that blows. Okay, use your ranged weapon. Tap for a... from the hip shot. Now, later on, you can actually aim this sucker, which is, needless to say, a lot more accurate. And you can achieve headshots with it, which, trust me, are valuable. And we go over here. Yes, I am going to leave grinding sessions out, but that's a not for right now. Oh, hell. Oh, definitely don't go down that way. There actually is a section of the map that's almost completely untouched. Go through here. Swat those guys. That is an area we will be visiting later. Suck in all the experience orbs. Very first time I played this game, I failed to collect any experience orbs in this area. That was embarrassing. Kill all those enemies, get nothing for it. You have general experience, skill experience, and strength experience. Now, I do believe yellow is skill. And that just told me I have enough for a level up, I believe. Green is general experience, blue is strength experience, and red is will experience. Which is dead backwards from the original. Those green orbs hold experience. Hit it. Hit it again. Flip switches are nice. I actually like the flip switches that they introduced in this game. A really good addition. Uh, might not recognize that door, but it is a door that we've seen before if we've played Fable 1, so you'll get to see it later. Orbs and the Mega World. That's a metagame thing. Okay. Sweet. More strength experience. I'm gonna knock these suckers out of the park. Yeah, I just got a new thing for strength. Alright, end is almost nigh. You're not gonna find anything in crates. Treasure chests, which look like older versions of the chests you find in Fable 1. There's a reason for that. They heavily reference previous games in the Fable series. Hero of Oakvale, which is your distant ancestor. Tattered Spire, which is a plot-related book. Okay. Something over here. Can't imagine there'd be anything good in those after 500 years anyways. Economy value necklace. Now you should note that there shouldn't be any skeletons in this area simply because I don't think the explorers made it this far. After all, the door wasn't open. Thought I saw something. Don't worry about it. Moving right along. Get through this area. Now the reason why I'm pacing myself instead of going flat out, these oh yeah, lies the hero this is it. 
This is not actually the Heroes Guild. This is the oldest part of the guild, and this part of the map is Presently, unchanged. This academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together. This the part of the map, the inside area where you had your final Once battle with Jack the Blades, Albion, the is changed a bit. This is the Chamber of Fate. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. But the heroes are not all gone. You are here. And that same heroic blood Sweet. through you. Look around at these walls. Your forebear, one of the mightiest. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be going for the good he ending in Fable One because it's the canon ending. Which he never truly recovered. But when the world tried to crush him, and yes, these are all images taken from Fable strong, One. Strong, strong enough to reshape the world as he saw fit. You must do the same. The guild has reacted to you. I'll give it a good look around next time. Well, next time I'm in there. You can now channel the experience you have collected into strength. I do believe every single Fable One strength improves image is in there, as far as what you could get in the Chamber of Fate. Shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn. Now, this is something I don't like. Activate the colors gate. In the original fable, the hero of Oakvale spent years and now years learning magic before he was able to actually Special access of any of strength, it. Skill, In this. You the stronger your physique, go half a kilometer and stand more damage suddenly you've got enough knowledge in will spells that you can fire off a shot. Okay, shock, shock don't have the shortly. ability, Plus though it would be nice. Lightning. Okay, it requires 430, I've got 355. Oh, Inferno's our level one spell. Inferno nice. Calls forth mag this actually works pretty well. Excellent. Can you feel the power coursing through you? Yes, yes I can. That treasure chest cannot be accessed by me. switch and power up the gate. Well done. Now you are ready to begin. By the way, that's not the original chamber of fate. That colour gate there. So it may have been added by the hero of Oakvale later on. Use your new okay, sweet. Anyways, this is Man in the Black Hat, and I will catch you later for more Fable 2. See ya. Make your way to Bowerstone. I will meet you there. Damn, I'm badass.